no buckle. And she turns and looks at me and she's like, hey, thanks. And she's got this like big smile that goes with her belt buckle. And I'm like, fuck. All right. So we started bonding over like makeup. Now let's preface this. I'm wearing makeup now. I'm wearing a dress now. But I'm fairly gender -fied. I identify as kind of like a gender queer macho femme. So I maneuver back and forth. So I was not in femme mode that day whatsoever. And um, it made me a little bashful because I'm there with my boyish kind of clothes and she's getting me to talk about eyeshadow and Sephora and I'm like, good God, like, what is she doing to me? So anyway, we exchanged numbers and we decided to hang out. Well, actually she asked me to date. And I was like, oh, let's just take it slow, you know. I'm up for maybe now. And then in hindsight, I'm like, that's ridiculous. That's not slow whatsoever. That's San Francisco slow, but that's not really slow. So anyway, I'm like, all right, let's just talk about playing. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so we met at this um, burlesque event that was happening at Oakland, in Oakland. And um, I, maybe this was me giving slightly mixed signals, or maybe, I don't know. But I, I found myself wanting to really femme out. Because she's this like beautiful femme, and she saw glitter and perfect makeup, and super sexy. And I was just like, I don't know, feeling it like, all right. And also, I'm really toppy. I'm a switch, but I'm very toppy. So, thank you. So, I put on my highest shoes, my tightest black pants, and a faux fur coat. And I waltzed in that place. I was not performing that night, but I waltzed in that place like, hey, this is my place. You know, I am here to meet this girl, and we're going to chat about playing. We didn't really chat that much that night. <laughs> we had our talk at her apartment, yeah. It went from talking to staring into each other's eyes to making out to her bed. And, right, and um, it got really hot, really, really hot. And this is where the story turns. Because she's there lying in her bed with her face crammed in her pillow, I'm on top of her, my fist is deep inside her wet, wet pussy, and all of a sudden she's like, Daddy! <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? She, she did not ask me if she could call me Daddy. Right? And I've played a lot, you know? I've played with a lot of people, I've tried Mommy, a little bit of Daddy, I've tried all sorts of things, but I've never actually been anywhere like Daddy. So it kind of caught me off guard. And then I was like, fuck, that's hot. <laughs> and she had like the sweetest little girl voice. I don't even know how to describe it, but it really got to me. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to go with it. That was when she became my little girl. Yeah. So at the time, I was, um, well, I was pro doming and I also work at so I was having all these crazy events to invite her to, to like seduce her, and I was like, you think you're femme, you little girl, you know? <laughs> and um, so I invited her to one of my Lusty Lady shows, and after my set, I went to the lap dance area. I was supposed to be working. I did not work that night. I gave that little girl the longest lap dance I have ever given anyone. It was so fucking intense that one of my coworkers came up with an actual customer, like a paid customer, to give him a lap dance, and she saw that I was in full seduction mode, and she was like, I'm so sorry, and like laughed. <laughs> I teased and denied that little girl so hard. She was so hard for me the cock she didn't even know she had. <laughs> yeah. So it was time for our play date, our official play date. And I had this beautiful dungeon at my disposal at the time, and uh, I invited her over to a party and set it up as this elaborate age play scene, obviously. And I had her be a sweet little innocent year old homegirl, because that's like her thing. She's like all preppy and homegirl with sleeves, like it makes me fucking crazy. So she comes in, and I was supposed to be the older, knowledgeable college age girl who would like teach her all sorts of things. So I invited her to this college party, where like half an hour later she realized no one else was coming to the party. This was our party. I had my way with the girl every which way. I tied her up. I 
fisted her, I beat her butt, I rode her around my, like my sweet little pony. She was mine, all mine. That scene lasted, got till dawn. It was, it was the most intense scene I've ever had, and that's saying a lot. So, flash forward to the holidays. We were celebrating Christmas together. And uh, she, well, yeah, you, that's like a lot of presents, too. It's pretty cool. So anyway, she um, decides that she wants to give me this super, super special present on Christmas night. And uh, she decided to give it to me. And I hold this floppy, long present. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? Like a double-ended dildo or something? Like, what is she giving me? And I open it. And lo and behold, it is a heavy black leather belt. Mr. S. <laughs> Custom on the back, it says Fembe. <laughs> right? Ew, oh my god. So actually, it was so hot, I had to wear it for you guys tonight. Yeah! You guys want to see it? Yes! Yeah. Hold on, let me take a sec. Anyway, she gave me this beautiful leather belt, and uh, about a week or so after uh, the holidays, we had a, a nice little scene, and uh, guess who got to give her little girl some beatings with that new belt? Right here. Oh yeah, this daddy, right here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.